Welcome to the Lottie Files iOS tutorial. We're here going to understand how to use Lottie animations into our iOS projects. To start, open Xcode, create a new Xcode project, select iOS, app, and then hit next. We're going to call it here Lottie Tutorial, and then Make sure that you select Storyboard and then Swift. Hit Next and then Create. Next thing we're going to do is add the Lottie library into our project. Just make sure that you select your project on the left and then in the middle here you select the project name and then Package Dependencies, hit plus button and then if you don't have it here already, just make sure that you add this URL in here, which is https colon slash slash github.com slash airbnb slash lottieios. Once you do that, you're going to see this in here in the middle. Just add the package. Make sure that you add your project here, your target, and then add package. It's going to load, and then boom, you have the Lottie player into your project. And now let's see how to use this animation in our project. Just select view controller, and then we're going to create an animation view in here. So just say var animation view. And then this is the type animation view, which is coming from Lottie. It's going to auto import if you're using Xcode 13. I love this thing. And then this just say init, nothing else in here. All right, so next thing is to actually add an animation. So let's go to lottiefiles.com. We can actually search for animations here in the search bar or we can just get one of the featured ones in here in the list. I'm just going to get this bee here, I find it quite cute. So let, let's see what happens if we try to animate it. First thing we're going to do is actually download this Lottie JSON to see how to play it locally. All right, I have it loaded in here. Next thing we're going to do is drag and drop this animation into our project. Just drag and drop it here, and then make sure that you copy items if needed, and then add to your target. Hit finish. Boom, you have the animation over there. So let's see how to use this animation now. So we're going to say animation view dot animation equals to animation dot named, and then add the name in here. And then of course we need to set a, a loop rule. So we're going to say loop mode, and then say loop. And then next is just to play the animation, quite simple. We're not going to use the completion, so I'm just going to leave it empty like this. And then we're going to add this animation into our view. I'm just going to replace the view with the animation view. And then let's see what happens. I'm going to run it. There we go, we have our bee flying and it's going to keep on looping forever and ever as long as we don't stop this animation. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so next thing we're going to do is actually, instead of playing it locally, we're going to actually run it from the URL. For, for us to do that, I'm going to delete the first part and I'm going to delete the play as well. I'm going to just add in here animation dot loaded from URL. I'm going to say string and then force unwrap it. And then from lottiefiles.com, I can come here, lottie animation URL, and then copy. And then I can paste in here. And then I'm going to open this closure, say animation, and then safely unwrap my animation view. And then we're going to use it here. Animation view dot animation is going to get that animation that we just loaded. And then of course we have to play. Once we do that, we can set one more thing, which is the cache rule, if we don't want to load from URL every single time. To do that, just add LRU animation cache dot shared cache. And that's it. If we run our app again, it should load exactly the same because we're using the same animation in this URL. There we go. We have the animation. It took a little bit more time because it's loading from the web. But if we run the second time, it's actually going to run quite fast because it's cached. All right, that's it. Now you learn how to use Lottie animations using UIKit. Thank you for watching.